Our today's topic is uh, the ton convenable. So to understand how to do ton convenable, uh, before that we have to understand what are the connectors which help us to find out which tense will be applied. So let's see what are those indicators. What is what are the indicators for present tense? For present tense, that is toujours, tous les jours, chaque jour, and also no indicator will work. Toujours means always. Tous les jours means every time, every day. Chaque jour means every day. No indicator. Passé composé. Hier, dernier, or dernier. Hier means yesterday. Dernier means last. And dernier is feminine one. The dernier is masculine one for masculine uh, things you will use their near and for feminine one you will use their near. Okay, future sample. Dama and prosha or proshen. Dama means tomorrow. Prosha means next and proshen is also next but prosha is for masculine one. Proshen is for feminine one. Next is passe raison. Passe raison. For passe raison we have the indi one indicator only which is ilia. And il y a is followed by a short duration of time. For example, il y a the minute, il y a cinq minutes, il y a dix minutes. So if basically, it's, it means two minutes ago, five minutes ago, ten minutes ago. Il y a means here ago. <laughs> future prosh. For future prosh, we have the indicator o or don. Plus short duration of time, O and DO means in. So in 5 minutes, in 10 minutes like this. Bianto. Bianto is also the indicator of uh, future brush. Dans an instant, in an instant. To the sweet. To the sweet is also the indicator of future brush. No subject. If there is no subject, we will use imperative. Okay. Uh, when there is no subject, you will use imperative. If there is exclamation mark or note, that doesn't matter because sometimes there is an exclamation mark and sometimes there is no exclamation mark. So, but you will check when there is no subject, imperative will come only. Okay. Now, con, losco, ositoko, and deko. When there are these four indicators, <clears throat> we have three type of tenses. One pair is future interior and future sample. One pair is passé composé, passé composé. One pair is passé composé and imperfect. When there is future sample, you will use future interior only. When there is passé composé and imperfect, you have to check. And now, aussi toko and deko. Specifically, these two indicators. Both indicators mean as soon as. So when there is as soon as, you will either use the pair of plus que parfait and passé composé or future interior and future sample. One second here, you can also have the set of plus que parfait and passé composé. Plus que parfait and passé composé. That's also possible. Okay, when there is deja word, you will always use either future interior or plus que parfait. There is no other tense will come that will come here. Only future interior and passé composé. When there is one verb, one verb is given in future sample, you will use future interior. If one verb is given in passé composé, you will use plus que parfait. Now, m parfait. Hier, dernier, plus any indicator of present tense like toujours, tous les jours, chaque jour, you will use imparfait. And uh, one more thing, if con is followed by imparfait, most of the time, second verb is also imparfait. Now, C close. C close. In C close, we have two type of, uh, we have two type of C close. C plus present. Plus future. If there is first C close, first sentence is in present tense, second would be in future sample. 
in C clause, if first sentence is in M par way, second would be in conditional. But if there is no subject, you will use imperative. No future, no conditional, please. Now, apre. If apre is followed by the blank, what would you, you, you do? Actually, when there is a preposition, we do not conjugate the verb. We write the infinitive form of the verb. So for this apre, apre is a preposition. You will write the infinitive form, but ap after apre, you will use passe compose only. So in passe compose, etre or avoir would come in infinitive form plus past participle. We will see the example too. Uh, when we do not conjugate the verb, when there are two verbs in the same sentence, second verb stays in infinitive form. That's the rule. We always conjugate the first verb, second verb would, would stay same. Do not conjugate the verb when it comes after the preposition. As we have done here, apre is a preposition. After the preposition, we write the infinitive form of the verb. So I hope these rules are clear. Now we see now we see an exercise for practice so that you can understand better. This is CBSC sample paper. Conjugue le verb entre parenthes. So sang oshua. You get seven sentences and you have to do five of your choice. So let's see what are those sentences. Con Rahul est arrivé chez lui. Ses parents déjà rentré du bureau. Now you can see déjà with the verb, right? I told you when there is déjà, you will use two type of verbs, either future and terrier or plus que parfait. Now we will see the first verb. Is it in past or in future? This is in past, passé composé. So this will be in plus que parfait. So we will write rentré. We get we do conjugation with être verb. So me parhon son déjà déjà will come between the helping verb and the past participle. Rentré. With S. Because we have quote the uh, past participle, right? Okay, dash. Some muse bien le jour de votre anniversaire, dit le professeur à l'étudiant. Some muse. You can see there is no exclamation mark, but there is no subject too. So you will use imperative. Some muse bien le jour de votre anniversaire, dit le professeur à l'étudiant, one student. Professor said to the student. So you will conjugate in two form. So it would be amuse hyphen toi. Because some muse means it's pronominal verb. Now next sentence is in apre form. Apre and then blank. You will use prepare goes with avoir. So apre, avoir in infinitive form and prepare in past participle. Prepare, apre, avoir, prepare, agato, je le donne à mon client. Demain, quand elle achète tout ce dont elle a besoin, elle peindra la maison. It's demain and then there is future sample and in this you will write future and terrier. L A H. Sorry. Future and terrier. L O H. H T. C. C clause plus M parfait. This would be in conditional. For conditional, etre verb our base is S E R and endings are A I S for job. Vous se présentez au directeur dans quelques minutes. Donc, plus short duration of time, it means future proche. So, vous allez, vous allez vous présenter. 
you have to change the according to the subject. If subject is j, you will make it m. Subject is two, you will make it t. Subject is e or l or e or l plural. It would stay same. It means sir. For no, it would become no. For who, it would become who. Quand nous sommes arrivés chez notre ami, il lit à Romo. When we arrived at our friend's place, he read the novel. So when we arrived to his place, he was reading the novel. Right? So he was reading means imparfait. Il lisait à Romo. Because it's il, AIT will come. Okay, now one exercise from set treat. Deco. Deco is the indicator for past and future. So we will check the second verb and then decide which verb will come here. Montre is future sample. You will write here future interior. So je oh, hey. complete. Dès que j'aurai complété mon travail, je vous montrerai. Dash ces médicaments régulièrement. No subject. Prendre will be conjugated either with to or with vous or with nous. Not with to nous because let us take these medicines regularly. No, that's not possible. So you can write prond or prene. Both possibilities. J'ai bien compris ce que vous dire. I understood well what you. This is passé composé and said would be in plus que parfait. Vous aviez dit. Il n'est pas bien. Il, he is not well. He is resting immediately. Immediately is the indicator of future prosh. Il va se reposer. Il faut. First verb is conjugated. So second verb would be infinitive form. Pair. Same. Nous, quand nous sommes rentrés, notre mère, déjà. Déjà. And then this one is passé composé. You will write in plus que parfait. Notre mère avait déjà mis. Il n'y a pas de soupe. L'enfant, there is no soup. The child has drank. A bu. Les enfants allaient voir un film. Dama. Dama is the indicator of future sample. So, Sorry, La nuit dernière, mon enfant se réveillait soudamo. Soudamo means suddenly. And last night, he woke up suddenly. Se réveillé. Remember, with pronominal verb, you always use être. Hier, hier, yesterday. It means avoir in passé composé. J'ai eu, j'avais mal à l'estomac car j'avais mangé assez de fast food. Here we will use imparfait. Yesterday, I had stomachache. I got stomachache because I had eaten a lot of fast food. Jave. In fact, in passé composé and imparfait, you have to understand the meaning. So, in we cannot rely on indicators only for passé composé and imparfait. Otherwise, all for all other tense, yes, you can rely on indicators, but for passé composé and imparfait, you have to understand the meaning. 
I hope everything is clear. But still, if you have any doubt, you can write in comment section. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.